I would find myself dozing off quite frequently and would be awoken abruptly with a crack of the ruler across my face. Welcome back to another story time with Hypnalis. My parents have never been there for me. I've spent my entire life living from one boarding school to the next. My father was a high-profile lawyer, and my mother was the CEO of a medical equipment-based IPO. The professors became my family for a short time before I had to move to the next school. And here we go again. New school. I don't even bother memorizing anyone's name anymore. After all, I'll be moving on to the next one shortly. After a three-hour drive off of the main road, I had a feeling that my parents were going to desert me in the middle of the forest and leave me to die. The forest itself was eerie. It was spring, but only a few trees had any leaves on them. I kept seeing animal-like creatures following the car out of my peripherals. Every time I glanced to confirm my observations, nothing would be there. They have to have been hallucinations. Then, out of nowhere, a castle-like building. We had arrived. For the first time... I was actually nervous. Puberty had just begun, and I had the nastiest pimple on my face. I hoped that the students would not tease me. I just wanted to be in and out. The professors looked, spoke, and acted like they were a thousand years old. There were a few students that clearly didn't belong in this decade. My parents were so eager to return to their careers that they were half listening to the questions asked as they were vigorously signing the paperwork required. How old is he? Fifteen. Good. And how persistent is he learning the material? He could use some improvement. Improvement? Well, I hope he doesn't become a permanent resident. They all laughed, exchanged a few handshakes, and I was left alone. The year dragged on. It felt like an eternity. I received a letter from my parents stating that they'll be coming to pick me up as soon as the school year was over, for their careers have taken them out of the country. I was relieved. This place didn't feel right. It felt like the soul had been taken out of each student's life. The professors were ruthless. A simple glance away from them would entice a beating. I received plenty. The material was medieval in nature and extremely difficult to understand. It was mind-blowingly boring. I would find myself dozing off quite frequently and would be awoken abruptly with a crack of the ruler across my face. How could this be legal? After yet another beating, I made it a mission not to even attempt to complete any of the material the professors provided. I had only a few days left before my parents picked me up, and I would be out of this godforsaken place. The beatings didn't even hurt anymore. A couple of days passed by, and tomorrow my parents would be here. That night, I couldn't even sleep. At 6 a.m., I was already at the window, waiting for when my parents would emerge from the haunted forest. I looked at my watch. 10 a.m., I was just about to give up when suddenly I see them. I run downstairs and I see my parents shaking the dean's hand again. They're walking away. I'm running after them, screaming, but they're not turning around. By the time I got to the entrance, they're already in the car and leaving. What did you say to my parents? Excuse me? The dean questioned. They just dropped you off. What? I have been stuck in this place for a year already. And you'll be stuck here for an eternity if you don't receive perfect grades and your attitude doesn't improve. This boarding school is special, my poor child. Not only will you repeat the grade if you don't succeed, you'll repeat a year of your life. But don't worry, it's possible to succeed. A few years ago we had our first graduate leave us. Panic kicked in and I fainted. When I woke up I was in the room I spent the past year in. There was a throbbing sensation on my face. I touched my right cheek and gasped in horror. My pimple had returned again.